Hi, it's Sarah with House Copper, and today I'm going to show you how to tin in the flat. I know I mentioned this in other videos when I talk about how to, uh, when, when things are made in the flat, and it just means made from sheet metal, right? So we've done some circle cutting and things like that. Um, I'm gonna take one of the circles that I cut and I have to tin the inside because this is gonna be a lid and the lid needs to be tinned. Now, copper obviously pulls heat off because it conducts so fast. So the issue is you have to make sure that it stays hot as fast as, as much as possible. But if you put it over the fire when it's this thin, it actually can warp and it um, gets too hot too fast and you can burn your, um, your tin as well as your copper while you're applying it. So when I worked with Bob, and when I still work with Bob and we have to tin copper, we tin in the flat, meaning before we build the piece, we actually tin it ahead of time. And then we piece it together, all the different components. So this is the top of a lid. This is the side that will get the flux and then I will tin. And I tin using a combination of things. I can use a heat gun underneath this to kind of keep heat underneath it. Um, I can use um, or I can use a soldering torch or like an actual like blow torch. And um, the reason I have to use those other heat sources is because copper conducts the heat so much, um, just using a regular soldering iron can do one of two things. It can take forever because the copper will only get hot enough, just hot enough, barely hot enough wherever your soldering iron is, but it won't spread the tin. So you won't get that nice um, smoother texture. You're gonna have really frosty tin and it'll take you like hours and hours and hours. Um, but also a thing that might happen is you will end up cold soldering, meaning it'll look like the cop, the, the tin has taken, but really hasn't really bonded molecularly. And it actually will just kind of pop or chip off very quickly or right away. Um, or even as you're cleaning or riveting, or when you send this off to a customer on the first use, which you don't want. So today I'm going to be using a combination of a blowtorch and, um, my soldering iron. So here we go. So that is soldering in the flat. It's super simple. If you have a bigger um, soldering iron with a bigger uh, tip, that works even better. Um, like I said, having a second heat source is pretty mandatory for doing it. Um, and then the next thing is, now this is, you know, it's not as smooth as when I wipe it by hand, but it's something. Um, I will be washing the flux off immediately because if you leave the flux on there, it will actually start to etch your tin. So you do wanna wash that off right away. And, um, and, and leave that to dry. So let me know any questions about tinning in the flat. That's what I mean when I say it. Um, very easy, very simple. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.